And now, After Buzz TV's own gorgeous lady of wrestling, TK Trinidad. Bonjour, you are watching Women's Wrestling Weekly, the number one women's wrestling show on the planet. Okay, Tony. All right, DJ, Tony's, DJ in Tony's in the building. <laughs> Shout out to DJ Tony for, for hooking us up. For My real. name is TK Trinidad, aka the Canadian Assassin, and thank goodness he is here. He was actually here before me, so yeah. praise Jesus. Uh, <laughs> America's chocolate sweetheart, and I'm pushing to get shirts, by the way, so y'all need to start hitting him up on Twitter. Evan T. Mack. Yo, what up, girl? What's going on, Nothing man? much. I, I ain't seen you in a little bit. Everything going I mean, I good. saw you last week. I, but I see you cross. You was crossfitting. What was you doing? You was running. You was stepping and running in line. What was I doing? Some Instagram <laughs> video? She oh, was, I don't even know. He was, was using every day, was putting every, in that work. Every day. I mean, <laughs> that's what I do. <laughs> Today, we have an amazing show. Uh, we have WPW Star of the Week. We're going to do some news, but we have nothing but amazing guests. And today yep. is no different. Hailing from Jersey City, New Jersey, oh, Lucha my. Underground's Exolicious, a.k.a. The Concrete Rose, a Sunny Kiss. What's up? What up? <laughs> got the lip, gl lip gloss popping and For everything. Real. <laughs> <You know. laughs> All right, so let's get into it. Um, that booty though. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what do you do every to keep? Every other Instagram photo is a picture of Sunny Kiss, yeah. rump shaker. I mean, every I, other picture. I got. If I had the, if I had I told that booty, my boyfriend about that. So that's why, if you notice, uh -huh. they're not, it's not as consistent as it used to be. But like <laughs> these days, my man's like, listen. <laughs> I mean, if I, had... I'm a little more mellowed out. They're a little more wrestling stuff. A little more just regular posts of you know us. But I used to be out of control with it. But <laughs> I would be too. My booty look like that. That rum shaker, man. So what do you do to keep it popping? Squats. <laughs> Well, most of it is obviously genetics, but I think um, my physical fitness definitely um, plays a role. And, you know, also my uh, teaching yoga and doing yoga and stuff like that. And, you know, keeps it nice and lifted. Spe uh, speaking, of, speaking of genetics, you said off the air that you kind of started, you did like your DNA check. Like, what did. What, did you, what did you find? What did you discover? So I've always known that my mom was Muskogee, uh, Creek Muskogee descent, wow. and then my dad was African-American. But uh, when I dove more into it, I figured out that I was more European than I was Native American, wow. which was strange. And then uh, my dad's side, they're more African American, Middle Eastern, European, and my mom's side's more of just Native American. Incredible. Huh. Well, yeah. And I boyfriend because like there was like two percent Irish. And my boyfriend's kind of percent Irish, so well not hundred percent, but he's Irish or whatever. And so we joke about it. Like, what if we're related? <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Way down the line. <laughs> yeah, that was, but, I mean. It was I, really cool to find out. I was like, wow. Like, I didn't expect that at all. <laughs> I don't know if I want to find out mine. No, no, I no. Know. I don't know. <laughs> all right. So um, you did uh, you, you did mention, uh, so you teach yoga on a regular basis? Um, not not as of uh, lately. Okay. But, like, you know, I teach it to, like, my boyfriend and stuff, stuff like that. And, like, I show him how to do it and stuff like that. Yeah. But it's and you actually, thing. like, finished the whole hour of yoga with your boyfriend? I'm, I'm sorry. You like teach him and you finish the whole hour of yoga? <laughs> I mean, if I'm teaching my like, boyfriend, damn or dog, I mean, I don't know how oh <laughs> we going to get that. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying from, you know, just, just, just saying. Uh, it, it, yeah, we go the full hour doing yoga in the living room. Okay. Regular yoga. Nothing <laughs> else. Um, yeah. Um, I saw your, okay, so you have a dance background. Um, mm -hmm. What drew my attention to like, you know, reach reach out to you? Uh, you did the splits off the rope. Like you jumped off the rope into the splits, like yeah. just, just <laughs> dropped into it. Um, how did you develop like all these moves? Like how do you take dance into wrestling? Mm -hmm. Well, there's definitely def the dance background, you know, also uh, getting into cheerleading after that later on after high school and stuff like that and then there was obviously looking up to the women's wrestling haha ha, ha, we're on women's wrestling weekly <laughs> <laughs> so there's a lot of that and you know seeing the women do it and I knew like that being a guy that's doing these moves I knew that I would have something that's more like you know like unique and different and it was authentically me because I was always doing the splits from dance so mm -hmm. it wasn't really no different it was just doing a wrestling environment it was that makes it different so being a guy, you know, there's not many guys out here doing splits, you know. Mm -hmm. But so doing them in wrestling would be pretty cool. And that's where I kind of started doing them in wrestling. And then the move where you're holding on to the top rope and the guy, your feet are on the guy's shoulder and you're literally 
booty popping him in the face. I don't know. Does that, is there a move? There's a name for that what's move? The, what's the name of that the thing she just described? I I called it Kiss My Sass. Um, <laughs> uh, but that's actually the Brazilian lap dance. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it before. But if you Google Brazilian lap dance, that's just a regular thing they do in Brazil. It's, it's like, like that. Parties. Like you'll sit there and a the girl will put your freaking put her freaking legs up on your shoulders and start bumping her booty in your face. Like that's a lap dance in Brazil. So it's like, yeah. whoa, like I just could be a wrestling move, you know? And it's just like it's cool. It's, it's noticeable. It's, fun, it's cool. It's different. You know, it puts a little twist on, you know, that move and it's just fun. Yeah, I like it. Like, I like that yeah. um, you did it to uh, Joey Ryan and then he like <laughs> like took a moment in the in the ring was very was very very, very interesting um so your experience with lucha underground a lot of uh folks from lucha underground have been on the show how was your experience overall when you first started because we're in the you're in your second season yeah so it was all uh, like once i got there like everyone from evilly show you ryan jack i was like everybody like in the whole cast was like real welcoming and warm to me and then the makeup artists, I'm all really shy and nervous. And I'm just like, oh, hi. And they, like, they made sure I looked so bomb every single night. And I'm very feminine, but I'm also, I do not know how to put on makeup at all. Like, I am the, I'm the worst, gay, most useless gay person ever. Because I am <laughs> terrible at putting on makeup. I am awful. So they, like, really, like, made me look really good. And they really helped me a lot. So thank, thankfully I had them because I would be looking a hot ass mess <laughs> on national TV and stuff. But um, no, everyone from the roster, every like every the behind the scenes, everyone was really, really cool, really helpful. And um, anything I felt uncomfortable with or anything I wanted to do or that I wanted to try out, everybody was like, yeah, yeah, come on. Like, it was really, really cool, a really cool experience. Every, every single person, I didn't have any negative experience at all. So so how does, how does Lucha differ from other wrestling promotions? What separates Lucha from everything else? Well, they sure paying me a hell of a lot more. <laughs> Money! <laughs> <laughs> no, well, pushes that I've worked for, I would say. But um, no, they. I think it's just they have this really cool eccentric um, feel to it. It's like it's very different because uh, it's not a wrestling promotion per se. Mm -hmm. It's like a television show as well. Mm -hmm. So it adds like this sci-fi, this really unique, like kind of a mystery uh, to obviously the wrestling. Uh, the wrestling is kind of like you know secondary wow. to like as opposed to like the show being a show. So mm -hmm. it's kind of like, uh, not secondary, but more of like a really awesome addition to the show. Mm. So, yeah. And now the fact, so you have, I mean, obviously, as everybody can tell, you're African-American or half African-American. Do you say, do you, do you yeah, what do you say? What do you, what do you, what you no, I, I claim, I, I'm definitely a person of color, period. Okay. I don't go into details of like, oh my God, I found my like this and that. Okay. Like, but what do you like to check, what do you check on like the check box though on a test? Though? I know. check a check I mean, box. In my household growing up, we checked off um, American Indian and African-American. Oh, wow. Okay. So, yeah, but that's. That's whatever. I'm a person of color. I'm a black man at the end of the day. So, so being that's, a that's... person of color and also gay, how was that um, get like as far as wrestling? Because wrestling is known for having its stereotypes and, you know, they wanting people to fit in certain boxes. Um, how was that when you started compared to now? Um, I think once they saw the true me and they saw who I was, not only as a as a, a African-American male, but as a, as a gay male and being who I am, like truly, really like, um, letting them see, like, b being vulnerable and letting them see who I truly am. I think they kind of just was like, okay, like, this guy isn't like every other, you know, gay or, like, they're, he's not like every, you know, black person. He's just him. He That's just who he is. So he's just himself and he's confident and, like, you know, we should respect him. And I think once I, like, got, made a name for myself, they started to see, like, oh, okay, he's real serious about this. Like and I also put on uh, I I also put on a lot more masks. I look I look different. I look more like a wrestler now. Mm -hmm. And so I think once they got a feel for who I really was, basically what I'm trying to say is is that's when they started to respect me more. Being so being a person of color, being being um, gay, like how how what kind of person are you as far as when you were when you were growing up? Like how how did you how how, how are you like getting used to being like accepted or being accepting of other people? Because you know people are very judgmental. So mm -hmm. like, how did how did you meet meet that and how did you face that as you were growing up? I think that's just not like losing your center. You know, I think a lot of times people when you get in different environments they lose their center. And that wasn't me. I remained who I was regardless of any negative situations. 
Hourglass, how people treated me. I definitely dealt with racism. I dealt with definitely, uh, definitely dealt with homophobia. Um, but I think once people, like I said, see who you truly are, it kind of like, man, like get out of here. Like it like smushes that, like it, it, it smushes that away. And so um, I feel like that's kind of what happened with wrestling. People kind of saw me and was like, yo, like this guy's a little weird. But once they like really, really looked at me, like, you know, he's kicking butt mm -hmm. and he's a powerful, strong black man, a confident gay man. They were like, okay, wow, like he's he's something different. So, um, so some more questions from the chat. They want to know who uh, who would you want your dream match to be against? Does it have to be a diva? Because I, I did see that question. Or um, it, just... it could be anybody. This is from uh, Kennedy dream... Harris. Damn, that's a lot. <laughs> okay, we'll put diva. What diva? <laughs> Well, I, okay, so I'll say both now that I, like, have it in my head. I mean, Rob Van Dam is one of my inspirations. Uh -huh. I mean, inspiration wow. for moves, uh, just um, persona. Like, he's amazing. And um, I definitely liked how he utilized his flexibility and athleticism and wrestling. So I feel like, because I do that, obviously, too. And, like, he's definitely just a huge inspiration. So, my ma like, me having a match with him, my, my skills with his skills would be so cool. Um, as far as, like, Diva, obviously. Okay, if I had to choose, I mean, Trish Rats is my idol, uh -huh. but I think having a match with Jacqueline, what? Oh, that would be awesome. That, oh, that'd be dope. Super. Like, I, I'm a huge, huge Jacqueline fan. And, like, watching her growing up, she's one of the first wrestlers that I've ever saw when I turned on the TV. Uh, and I started to really, really get into wrestling. She's one of the first people that I saw. And it was just like, wow, like, this is a powerful, beautiful black woman who's, like, kicking butt. And um, it's just really cool. Like, I think a match with her would be dope. So, yeah. Um, so, oh, we'll go into this other question from the, uh, from the chat. Uh, do you do you know about the Exoticos before you uh, got into wrestling? Um, I didn't. Um, I definitely uh, had to, like, do some research. Um, I love it. I think it's so cool. Um, and I was just talking to Cocabana on Cocabana's podcast mm -hmm. uh, last week. And I was like, uh, I think it's so amazing how they took this lifestyle and they really, really made it a thing. Like they made it a, like this crazy, this crazy phenomenon and people are behind it. They're like, holy snap, these guys are dressing in women's clothes and they're kicking ass. But I said, I don't want to be deemed as an, an, ex, uh, as an exotico because mm -hmm. um, I feel like a lot of it's not authentic. And they're like. You know, like I said, they're kicking butt and everything. They're doing a really good job in what they do. But I am just, uh, I don't want to be looped in in the category, right. you know, known as just a wrestler. Yeah, you know, like, I feel like people put terms in these names and it's just like, <laughs> ah, female wrestler or gay wrestler. They're just a wrestler, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, why do I have to put these labels on it? But I think them building up the title of Exotica, like I said, like I'm not smudging, I'm not disrespecting at all the legacy of, you know, what they built, because like I said, they did it really well mm -hmm. and they did a really good job. But I personally don't want to be looped in, you know, with Exoticos. Let them have their, you know, their genre. I just want to be looped in with everybody else. That's how I see it. So so besides wrestling, I know you're in school. So what's, what's your other ambition in life? If let's say you couldn't wrestle or you're done with wrestling, what would you like to do? I like, to, I like to do a lot of things. I definitely want to work with children, um, whether it's uh, coaching or physical education or anything like that, or, you know, just maybe a kinesiologist. Um, I want to work in, like, the physical field, but in the special populations of children specifically. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Now, you auditioned uh, back in 2014 for uh, the Jets. And I, now I think they have the two male cheerleaders for, who was it again? I think it's LA team, um, but they just had the two male cheer and they made a huge deal about it. Do you want to kind of go? Do you want to go back into that, or are you just over with cheerleading? Um, I'm definitely not over it. Performing is my life. I definitely still want to like tap into performing, whether it's dance, music, whatever it is. Uh, I definitely want to tap back into that. Um, I don't know. I think uh, we'll see what happens. You know, <laughs> I I I did the. Uh, Ravens prep class back in 2016 wow. as well. And their, their summer, you know, courses or whatever. And I did their summer class and it was really cool. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I um, I would love to, definitely. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be pretty cool. That'd be such an interesting combination. Yeah. 
Do you like yeah. lucha by day uh, or lucha by night, cheerleader by day? I mean, dope. Yeah, and then like half the women in wrestling actually started out. Well, not half the women, but you know, a there's lot. quite a few women in wrestling who started out doing dancing and yeah. cheerleading. For sure. So. So what's the so what's the term about uh, concrete rose? Like define that. What does that mean when you when someone says that? Well, okay, so I got the moniker from um, you know, Ashanti's third album, Concrete Rose. It was fire too. <laughs> <laughs> so Concrete Rose to her meant um like, you know, infusing hip hop and R and B. For me, it's taking a, you know, my sweet and bubbly personality and bringing it to the ring where I start to kick butt. And so I kind of like, or also it's just like more of a persona, like where you're being hard at this point, and then you could still be like this sweet and bubbly person, but still, like you ever have, you ever know a person that's like, I'm a nice person, but I know how to turn up when need be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's how I see it as. It's like a, you know, I'm this nice, sweet person, but when I get to the ring, I turn up. So that's where I get concrete. Like everybody's from. one mm. auntie. Yeah, like... yeah, I guess. Like my, mom, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my mom's always like, my mom's like, don't let the smooth taste fool you. I, 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 I wish you would. <laughs> or just being being a person, you know, a concrete rose could be a, a male or a female. It's basically mm. just that one person who likes different things and they're very, very eccentric and very unique. And, you know, people judge them. People judge black people for listening to rock music, even though black people invented rock. We invented mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so glad you said that. Oh my God! Black people invented you know, rock funny, and roll. You know, we have this edgy. There's this people. Uh, you know, you have this edgy side to you, and people are just like, you know, oh, that's interesting. That you know, or men who tap into their sensitive side. That's interesting. Like you're kind of like sensitive, but it's like, like I'm just a human. Like mm -hmm. I'm allowed to like different stuff or whatever. Mm -hmm. you know, so concrete rose. It's anybody who has two sides to them. It's like I could, you know, be this soft little R and B dude, but I could, you know, jam out to some rock too. Just, just any type of way you can kind of put it together, peanut butter and jelly. Any type of things <laughs> that you put together to mix that are have different flavors. That's literally concrete rose. Yeah, is. So I've been reading a couple of articles and they're comparing you. So they said Darren Young was kind of like the first um, person to come out and people are comparing you to, to comparing him to you. How do you uh, feel about that? Or do you just want to be like separated from it? Or have you spoken to Darren or any of that stuff? Um, we speak on social media actually here and there. Like we comment on each other's stuff and it's all, it's all love. I love Darren and I thank him for, you know, paving the way and uh, opening doors, you know, him or just Orlando Jordan. There's so many guys that came out before us. And then even indie workers like Anthony Bowens and Matt Cage and everybody, all the, like, the gay workers that came out before me, I definitely like, thank you. Like, I appreciate that. And so mm -hmm. um, I think it's just, it's great. You know, Darren and I are cool, like as far as social media wise, I have no issues with him. And uh, the, if they compare me to him, I love it. You know, blonde hair, being um, colored dudes, I'll, I'll dig it. <laughs> Light skin and pretty. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> I've seen like like fifty thousand pictures on your social media with you and your boy toy. Now you are wow. very much in love. You said boy toy. Boy though? toy. Listen. So listen. Tell me. Tell me. <laughs> Look at the ring though. Look at the ring though. Yeah, Just see? Note the ring. Classic, no. so, like, <laughs> so tell me. So tell me what he means to you, and tell me what what he means like to your to your wrestling career as well. The Shamrock Shooter. <laughs> Murphy. Um, he means a lot to me. Um, definitely, he helps enhance me um, both personally and professionally. Um, he's so smart and so intelligent, and I just love. I there's so much I can say about. Him. <laughs> <laughs> like he's honestly like he's my rock, and I thank him so much because he definitely keeps me like focused, and he's just an amazing human being. So talented as a wrestler too, so underrated, and he shows me a lot of holds too. I'm working on like a lot of different moves for next season because, you know, I always get this like um, this this criticism like, oh, you do all this athletic stuff, but can you like get grounded sometimes? Mm. I'm like, oh. so I want to try to like come up with some really cool uh, different moves for next season. So, you know, stay tuned for that. So you mentioned next season. So obviously you have the contract for next season. Okay, get um, that paper, get that paper. <laughs> I mean, we journalists here. We don't. We don't let anything oh, slide. Sorry, get that so, did you have you gotten like a, a a draft or a script or something that's you know storyline? When when you guys are gonna be filming? Is it gonna be back in? Is gonna be in February again, twenty nineteen or? <laughs> He's like, they catch they catch it on too much. I need to. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, well, congratulations. I know Lucha is really big on, you know, keeping everything down. And everybody who has been on the tight show lit. from Lucha has been super tight-lit. So congratulations. Can't wait to see you on uh, on season five. Um, <laughs> <laughs> now, um, Lucha is known for, I've, I've seen you partner with Ivelisse quite often for intergender oh um, uh, matches. Amazing matches. Yeah. Um, do you see that happening more in indie? In the, are people asking you to do that more often, or is it that more of a like you know you see that in lucha and maybe some other promotions? Or how? What's your feelings about it? Listen, <laughs> <laughs> indie promoters, if you're listening to this, I will team up with Ivelisse and Joey Ryan any day. <laughs> and here's the thing. And besides, because my, my match with Jack Evans is probably one of my favorite of all time. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, wow. it's so. Because Jack Evans is a wrestling god. Yeah. But, like, I have so much fun in tag matches and six-mans. Promoters, listen. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to get, all, like, the best out of me, I think pair me with those two was, uh, like, uh, amazing. It was the most amazing experience. Wow. They were both so much fun to work with. Ivelisse is so smart. Oh, my gosh. You know, badass. Psychology-wise, mm -hmm. oh, my God. With bad wrestling. Girl. Like, there's nobody touching her. She is amazing, amazing, amazing. And then Joey's personality. Um, they're mentioning Sammy Guevara a lot. I love this. Because mm -hmm. he's like my Lucha bestie, and I love him too. But, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, with them two, and then working with, like, Thunder Rose and everybody. Uh, yeah. But, anyways, tag matches, yes. Book it. Yeah. Me with, Evie, me with Joey, me with both of them. Yes. And that's what I like too, because they're not doing, okay, well, we have a girl on this side, we have to do a girl on they don't have to they don't have to do that. You know, people can stand on their own. And, you know, mm -hmm. it, it's it, it they don't I, I just like the intergender matches versus, you know, some others where it's like, Oh well the girl has to tag in at the, the very, very last second. Girls in there and blah, yeah. blah, blah. But I, like, okay, I did so one one off but it wasn't an official show or anything it was like a more of a practice match but when i got to lucha underground i was the first time i had worked with women in the ring mm -hmm. because I, for the longest time i had this little thing where i was like i don't want to work any woman at all because there's like this stigma especially when i don't know if you like know from like um the urban areas being a person of color and being a gay guy they have like this stigma it's like oh you want to be a girl oh my god oh my god oh my god and it's like well let me like work with the men because i feel like they'll be I'll be able to tell a better story as far as like a triumphant you know story mm -hmm. like working with women they're they're working on their own story because the gay lifestyle and the women's wrestling and well gay gay people in wrestling the, the, the stories are very similar mm -hmm. they're trying to tell the same exact story whereas we're just as tough as the dudes as you know such a male dominated world mm -hmm. so we're we're trying to show the same exact story the same exact fight like yo we're just as tough as all these dudes so that was always my like focus. Like, don't put me with all girls just because you think that oh, this girl and I would have this really attractive cat fight. Because promoters, you know how they are. Mm. You know? Yeah, they're. So <laughs> I think I was I was like, okay, don't put me with girls just because. Like, put me like with girls because you want to see us kick ass. You know what I mean? I think a match with Evie would be so dope. Oh my gosh, you know? so she's amazing. So, yeah, incredible. So I think um, that that was my mindset when, you know, people in the back in the days just try to book it. So I've like turned down about two or three bookies against females. It was mm -hmm. nothing against the females at all. I just definitely want to tell, continue to tell that story of like, I'm just as equal as the guys. Right. The same way that they're trying to tell that story with intergender wrestling. So I knew like what I wanted, you know, out of myself, you know, for wrestling. I, I caught a glimpse of your shirt before we got on the air, like real, real quick. She had, uh, she had pretty, she had pretty on fleet. Oh, but, uh, I like that. <laughs> so I need one of those. So I also see that that's uh, it's Christina Milian's uh, clothing line. Uh, okay. so I also see um, you have your own shirt on Pro Wrestling Tees, like right. I do. How do you um, how do you get that shirt? Com slash Sunny Kiss. A actually, we just got a power couple one, so Killian and I have one together. It's oh, really nice. Cute. Okay. It's like a Rick and Morty parody, so go and check it out. Hey. You watch you watch Rick and Morty? I love Rick and Morty. I haven't seen it, you know, because obviously the season's been off air or whatever. The show's been off air or whatever. But I had definitely seen it because he introduced me to it, my boyfriend. And he was like, yeah, you got to watch this show. It's so funny. <laughs> and I, we have different kind of humors. Actually, I just talked about this on my social media on Instagram because someone asked the question about being in an interracial gay relationship. Mm. And I was like, yeah, some things, some races just do differently. Yes. And humor is one of them because <laughs> we definitely don't have the same kind of humor. <laughs> and... <laughs> Like, my humor's not the dry, corny. <laughs> <laughs> so I have issues with some of his humor. But with me, I like things that aren't, like, 
traditionally funny. Like, I don't like stand up either. So I definitely don't think stand up is very funny. Like, any stand up ever? Nobody? Eddie Murphy? Yeah. He said I never no. Stand- and he I said tried ever. so hard. And for so long, I thought something was wrong with me. No. Because I was like, oh my God, I, why am I not laughing? I thought I had a risibility problem. You know what I mean? <laughs> I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right. So we're going to uh, hit the rapid hot tags real quick. If the okay. DJ Tony Tone can uh, hit that music. Yeah. You be good, bro. Man, no, no stand up? Damn. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't really think <laughs> All right. So here we go. So I'm going hit to you, hit you with some questions. You're going to say the first thing that comes to your mind. You ready? Okay. Always early or always late? Uh... <laughs> late? <laughs> <laughs> Last person you text. My boyfriend. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, we know. <don't>... <laughs> what is the one thing you love about yourself? About myself. Mm-hmm. My booty. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I love your booty too. That thing is banging. Uh, dream dinner guest. Um. You said they could be dead or alive, right? Yeah. Yep. All right. So I'm Alia. Who? Sorry. Alia. Yeah. Um, oh, wow. Who would play you in a movie? Yeah. <laughs> okay, when I was younger, okay, so Tyler James Williams, that's the Everybody Hates Chris. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, last show you binge watched? I love New York. Actually, I was just watching it before you guys called. <laughs> <laughs> if you were a crayon, what color would you be? I'm sorry? If you were a, if you were a crayon, what color would you be? <laughs> um... <laughs> If you can dance all, or you can listen to one song for the rest of your life, what song will it be? <laughs> okay, we'll pass on that. Um, if you were on death row, what would be your last meal? <laughs> I'm terrible. I like too much. There's so much. <laughs> uh, I'll just choose the, like the most unhealthiest thing, like a burger, fries, and a soda. Okay. Or something like there that. you so go. There you go. <laughs> Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, we can't wait to see you in season five of Lucha Underground. He's like, that's all you get. That's all we get. That's, that's it. it. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> um, where can people find you on social media? Uh, that's at SunnyKissXO on both Twitter and Instagram, uh, Facebook.com slash SunnyKiss1, and ProWrestlingTees.com slash SunnyKiss. Yeah, and if you want to see that booty, you have to scroll down, down, it's down. Like every other picture, though. It hasn't been posting as much, <laughs> but, you know, it's, 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 it's but, enough. But once you, you start scroll. getting into it, you, like, get all into yeah, it. Yeah, you scroll oh, down. Like, <laughs> you, 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 a couple, you have to, like, a couple months back, you'll see, you'll, you'll see it. It's, it's a work yeah. of art, I tell you. I was keeping it in there a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> past couple weeks but you know i didn't want him to be tripping uh, <laughs> i mean <laughs> yeah you'd keep your love alive you have to change that promise ring to an engagement ring word work on that he's like <laughs> don't worry <laughs> 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 thank you so much we're gonna move on right. with the show thank you. thank you so much uh we're gonna hit the yeah we'll give him tony a did a dj to give a second to cue up that news whenever he get well while we doing that we can thank our after buzzers real quick yeah man you think these after buzzers man especially my man joey boza he, he's hot under the collar so i'm gonna yeah, get to him the in gm the gm <laughs> the gm of, of the women show. wrestling weekly <laughs> you our network produces so many shows nearly all your favorite tv shows from drama tv reality sci-fi and more there's no network that works harder to serve television fans but we need your help we're asking that you please subscribe to one or more of our youtube channels by subscribing to our channel youtube so it suggests content that is tailor-made for you to help after buzz continue to grow and if you're worried about those pesky notifications don't be because they are optional so hit that subscribe button now for this channel and check out our other youtube at the book channels as well let us know you did and we'll thank you in the comments on air for now thanks for being the best fans and help us be the espn of tv talk dj tony tone if you please um, first of all, listen, I had to skip all the way down, man, because there's a new match added to Evolution that got Joey Bosa all hot under his collar. <laughs> Joseph I mean, Bosa, I know you're listening, the man. The GM, uh, The GM, GM of mm-hmm. Women's Wrestling Weekly is upset. All I know is we got Alicia Fox, Oscar, Billy Kay, Carmella, Dana Brooke, Amber Moon, Lana, Manny Rose, Naomi, Nia Jax, Peyton Royce, Sonya Deville, Tamina, and Tori Wilson in this battle royal. Mm-hmm. Whoever wins gets a future shot at a championship. What the hell's the problem, T- Joey? What's the problem? Well, I think... <laughs> Uh, one, they haven't been promoting this properly. Um, as we know, they're, um, they have the crown jewel happening 
somewhere. Mm. Um, so they haven't been promoting this properly. And the fact that they take so many women and put it in one battle royale, which was fun the first time around, but this is an all women's event. Mm -hmm. So we should either have some really great dream matches or we should have, you know, something that there's a, in a storyline. I mean, we had SmackDown on Tuesday, didn't see Naomi. And I'm always looking for Naomi. You already know. She's my favorite. Didn't see Naomi. We had some storyline with the Usos, which I didn't even understand that one. The Rock didn't show up. We're going on a whole tangent. Dwayne, Dwayne, Dwayne. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, so um, I think people are, you know, there were quite a few wrestlers on Twitter and social media that were um, highlighting it, but they're highlighting it in a very PC way, which they have to. Yes. So, um, you know, you don't really know if they were upset or not, but I can definitely see why people would be upset. You do, do you think there's a glass half full, like, thought process behind it that you get to see wrestlers, you know, I guess women, it's just women, I don't know. Well, you have to look and, at it. And it's, it's, it's a title opportunity. Well, I mean, Ni Naomi won was the Andre was it wasn't Andre. She won the the last one. Oh, uh, the you know the the male, yeah, you know the, whatever you know the, yeah. you're talking about. She won the last one, and there was nothing. She she tweeted that she didn't even get the the trophy for that yet. So I mean, I think yeah, they might they may get a challenge, but if it's on Raw, then they're gonna lose because Ronda has the belt, and I think Ronda's gonna have the belt for a while. Mm. So <laughs> you know, and it, Becky Becky may lose the belts. I don't I don't see Becky holding on for it too for too long. You, you think she'll keep it till Mania? No, not till April. No, she's not she's not the. the what you think of Survivor Series? She's maybe? not the favorite. Mm -hmm. So I mean I like Becky. She's 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 you know, she actually is deserving of it, but she's just Becky. not the she's just not the favorite. She's so, she's not the company favorite. Trying to say she's not the company favorite, meaning that she's not going to be like a Roman Reigns in the situation where because you saw her, she was in a great position, then she just tumbled all the way back down oh to the hill. Goodness. She made some noise here and there, especially the tag team matches and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, definitely a hard worker. She's going to stay, you know, best shape she, of her life right now. Too. Right. She doesn't seem like you know she's shaking up anything too. So she's going to be in the company for a while, unless you know there's something that new takes over. But you know she's going to be one of those people that's going to stay stay in, and she's going to win the belt yes. here when belt there but she's not going to be that roman reigns or that charlotte flair type type situation and it's unfortunate but that's what you that's what happens when you you're with a big company like wwe yeah so, uh, bosa said i mean the, the nxt uk launched today their women's championship is supposed to be on the line but we don't see the champ crown most likely tony Storm met nina samuels this week i would sit through a five-hour pay-per-view gladly with the women it's like the left hand doesn't know what the right hand is doing yeah that pay-per-view is i it makes a good point if, if it's <laughs> One, it's in, in New York, and nothing against New York, but where they're having it. Oh, I mean, it was like, what, where the, the hell is this? Yeah, the location's kind of weird, and uh, it might be a money thing. I don't know. I don't on. know. I hope it goes well, but the the way that we're seeing it just doesn't seem like it's going to be exciting. Yeah. All right, BJ Tone, can I get that bell, man? Yeah. Um, Bound for Glory had a couple. It was it was spicy, man. Ooh. Tessa Blanchard defeated Taya Valkyrie, Taya Valkyrie yeah. in a... In a barn burner, in a slobber knocker. Yeah, that was uh, one of our poll questions. People pulled for uh, for Tessa. Obviously, we pulled for Taya because you know she's a friend of the show. Yep. Um, but it was an amazing match. I think Chris Jericho um, made um, some points. Or this, he's amazing. Yeah. Right. So unless you take the time to dig deep, and it's almost like Drake and Pusha T, you have to take the time yeah, to yeah, dig you deep for some really stuff. Really look for some stuff. So the first thing you want to go to is because people still go at Taya for you know wait even though she looks amazing you gotta stop that too that's you know yeah, so also also as ali rescues kara hogan from the undead realm with rosemary's help that was that was theatrical amazing i loved it though it was amazing there was a lot going on there um yeah james mitchell arranged for ali safe patches into the undead realm mm -hmm. and we got intense final deletion style mini movie it was it was awesome it was Awesome! I was live tweeting uh, through this, and I did. I wasn't sure if um, Kira was going to be on the show anymore because the week before, um, Sue Young put her in the coffin, and then I saw Kiri, uh, Kira, Jesus, Kira at Wow mm -hmm. last week. So I'm like, oh, she's probably just doing promotion. Yeah. So, you know, Impact just kind of does switches it up, and then she reappears. So awesome! She getting those. She Ms. Hogan's getting those checks. Yo, man, she listen. She's she always, everywhere. Yo, it's very interesting because it's not like because you, you meet her, she's amazing. We yeah. talk to her on Skype. She's she's lovely. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I, I do you know why she's so many people like her? What do you think that is? What do you think? Um, I think it's a combination of deadly and cute. Right. She's five two. Yeah. She's different. Um. She she she's she's, she's the word the right word's not stocky, but she's she she's she put she's together. Not, though, yeah, yeah, she's not petite. 
She's petite, but she looks like she can still whoop your ass. Yeah. So I mean, she has a lot of good things, and she's a new wrestler. You know, it's just one of those things. Young too, young. Yeah, very young. She's on. She's on. Wow! I can't wait for you guys to see Wow. I, I saw the live taping uh, last week on Wednesday wow. and Thursday. She did an amazing job. Uh, she's on Impact. She's a whole bunch of indie shows. I believe she's bar wrestling to that tonight Good as well. Lord, so you know, kudos <laughs> to her. Getting those checks. Doing Hustle, her thing, man. Yeah. For real. But um, yeah, DJ Tony Tone, my last, my last tidbit, brother. So, okay, Nikki Bella says she wanted AJ Lee for the return of evolution. Now, listen, everybody in their mom. I don't listen for it. Like, I told she you, I know better. But I didn't tell you. I didn't tell you. Don't be talking about Nikki like that. I ain't told you. TK, I didn't tell you. Don't be talking about my girl. It's one of my favorite things of all time right here. I put this video on because this is one of my favorite moments. <laughs> this is one. You know, you ever see when AJ, AJ comes out, she puts like the pads in her butt. Oh, my and she comes out <laughs> in Nikki's face. She was salty. But, um, so she, she said she really was hoping she'd be at evolution now. Clearly, we know that's not happening well, ever. That's, that's why that is such a. It's why crazy. would you say that? I, I I don't. I think just because she's she can. One of one of her quotes. Well, yeah, she can. But also one of her quotes that like she loved like the matches they had together. She wanted to do. She can see herself just doing something with AJ. Just I think she just wanted her there like as a sister. But it's one of those things where like a lot of people clamor for that girl. But I just don't think it's it's, it's happening. I don't think so either. For, I mean, like she's she's a she's a Hall of Famer. Will is WWE in that place where they'll ever pull that trigger? I mean, I've seen they haven't pulled pulled it for China. Yeah, we're like oh, that's that's tough. Like worst people they have called though, for, and they have tapped on the shoulder for that thing. Like they put Sting in like instantly. And he's like never. He's a whole thing. He's never part of WWE. You know what I mean? So it's one of those things where like, what what do you think? Why do you think people always like she just her name just pops up? Well, I mean, it's, what do you think that's about? It's all the drama that that's that's happened within. It's also the fact that she has no, she has distanced herself from that so oh much. My God. And also WWE has WWE has in anything that they had to. We had all these great women events, and you know how they do the highlight reels of you know women from the past. She's nowhere on it except if she's going up against somebody that they're trying to highlight, and that's like that's true rare. So, I mean, it's obvious that WWE wants to erase her from history. So why Nikki <laughs> why Nikki would do that, I mean, maybe she feels like she she has the clout. It's like she belongs to be in this evolution. Right. Like, I, I think so, too. Oh, God, yeah. Dude. Right? But it's like if anybody else said that other than Nikki, there'd be issues. Yeah, she's a, when you, there's certain times where you get, as a wrestler, you're like a made man, so, so mm -hmm. to speak. Oh, you're yeah, like, Nikki's made. Not to take a mafia term, but that's just the best way to say it, you know, yeah. and you know the people. Mm. You, man, man, you know yeah. John Cena can, he can, John Cena short, short of order than nuclear strike. Did a <laughs> 45 second video for SmackDown, no good background, John just Cena's a little, the, John little, something, go. little something with, it, with, with the new hairstyle. <laughs> like, I get it. I get it. You doing your thing, He's doing his but thing. they couldn't even like do a, like a, a promo I, against somebody like create some heat even while you're not John there. Cena living it's his like, best life. I'm here, but I'm not really here. But I'm still getting paid to do this. And then The Rock with his tweet. Yeah, that's your boy. That's that's totally different excuse. He he like made SmackDown. But with the with the Bella, she said she actually is like is is doing like full roster stuff. Full. It's not like a she's back. She said. We'll so, see after evolution. So you, yeah, that's you think that's the gauge though if she's still around. Well, she might, she might. I I have a feeling that after the whole thing, well, Ronda's not gonna lose the belt. So after the whole thing with Ronda, um, they might disappear for a couple weeks and reappear mm -hmm. for you know Survivor Series. Definitely reappear for WrestleMania. But I don't see them week to week. Not Monday every Monday. No. All them travel dates. No. And also, it's one of those things. Do you see them trying to build? This is a ridiculous thing to say, but do you see them trying to build up something? Because Nikki, Nikki does have the record. Do you see them giving that to Ronda for that long, and then having like a thing where Nikki tries to like uh, interrupt the streak or something like that? Well, yeah, you could definitely do something like that because Ronda still has more years on her. Nikki, I make it. Nikki still does, but Nikki's, you know, been. I think she's almost ten, she's ten back, years. Back now, I know right? It's, it's fine. So. Um, you can definitely do that. I don't. I don't think they should, but they've been giving Ronda everything, so I don't see why they wouldn't. Just you know, so you know, TMZ can cover it. So, you know, it is right. what it is. That 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 is all. That is all I have for this afternoon. All right, DJ Tony, <laughs> you want to hit that uh, star of the week? Yo, 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 <laughs> <laughs> yo, listen. I can't have it work today. <laughs> He be forgetting. He be forgetting why. Like, <laughs> man, friend. Sarah Rebel, she has missed more than she thinks she is. I was, I was wrapping it up. You, I, was I was like, let me, let me catch him real quick before he closes everything to, down. I'm ready to shut off the iPad. <laughs> I'm ready to pack it in. I don't listen. I got. It. I'll tell you. I practice this too. I've been rehearsing this star of the week, man. Listen, I have. Check it out. Our women's wrestling the star of the week is Manny Leon. 
She's a model, actress, dancer who is currently signed to Ring of Honor. The five-year veteran got her start in 2014 in Pennsylvania. She is from really close to where I'm from, by the way. No Harrisburg, Carla, like 15-minute ride. We never crossed paths, but I was just tripping when I read that. <laughs> so, um, at a Ring of Honor future, losing to J Jenny Rose. She appeared in the Japanese promotion World Wonder Ring Stardom in 2017 and defeated former Women of Stardom champ champion Io Shirai in her opening match, which is amazing. Leon also appeared in WWE as Ro uh, Rosebud for Adam Rose in 2014 and 2015, which seems like a lifetime mm -hmm. ago because they were putting that dude over. In 2018, Leon was one of the particip participants in the Women's of Honor Championship Tournament where she defeated a friend of the show, Madison Rain, in the first round but was defeated by Kelly Klein in the quarterfinals. Manny Leon is a wrestler to watch and keep your eye on because she's from my hood too. What's up? Well, I mean, you gotta rep. Go you gotta rep, dude. You be repping Canada, girl. I'm repping I the mean, Berg early. Why not? Um, so last week's poll. So like I said, we had um, who do you think was who you're rooting for for bound bound for bound for glory? Uh, Tessa Blanchard had 59 percent. Ty Backer is 41 percent. You know, obviously we were pulling for Ty. Yeah. Um, this week's poll is very intentional. So I'm calling on <laughs> y'all. What up? I need your help. We need y'all. I mean, <laughs> if I could tell, if I could tell the whole story, I would, but I can't. I want Tony to come in here and bring the hook out. I know. Vaudeville hook. But, um, so, I went to WOW last week. Word. Amazing show. Uh, for you guys who don't know, David McLean is uh, one of the, he's the co-founder of WOW, but he's also one of the owners of WOW, as well as Jenny Buss, who is the also the owner of the Lakers. I want y'all to... Listen. Listen. The L.A. Lakers. The L.A. Lakers. I mean, okay. But you know, <laughs> we got a whole bunch of inter we got international guests and people that be too Okay, the in. L.A. Lakers. So here's the thing. <laughs> if you guys want Jenny Buss, who was there last week. She was. Taking pictures of Tessa Blanche and all of them on the show. Mm. Just, I'm going to put it out as a poll. Yes or no. Yep. On top of that, I'm going to need you guys to tweet Jenny. Because mm -hmm. Jenny's hard to find. And I'm good at digging. She's a mover and a shaker. Yeah. I'm going to need y'all to tweet Jenny to convince Jenny to come on the show. Because I can't find her people to contact her. And I can find people. She I can. just can't find she, her. i never seen anything like you. Like a, you like a black April O'Neil. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never seen anything like it. Investigative so, uh, report. So that, that, is, that is the poll question. If you want to see Jenny Buss on the show, you're going to put yes or no. I um, do. I put, I'm voting yes. Y'all need to get on it. I mean, we need y'all help. We need the people's help. Yeah, we need the people's help. <laughs> I think the people's help to go on YouTube, uh, After Buzz TV, Wrestling and Sports. Yes. Click that subscribe button. Also, leave comments. <laughs> <laughs> leave comments. In, uh, leave comments. We definitely appreciate it. Like I said, I'm working on getting y'all some free stuff. Try it's and not... Try. I mean, I can only do so much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tony's on fire today. He's I on can only do so much. <laughs> I need the powers to be to say yes. However, when they say yes, because it's not if, it's when they say yes, mm -hmm. then those comments and all that stuff is going to work for your benefit. Trust me. Um, DJ Tony, mm -hmm. um, do you have what we discussed last week? What we did last week. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, while DJ Tony is doing that, he's doing his thing, man. He's doing that. No, shout out to Tony. Uh, he puts up with us every week. He does make this show. Just, good Lord, God, yeah. God bless this. Yeah. There's a lot of moving parts. A lot of moving parts. There's a lot of things. A lot of people that's Skype interviews. Yeah. And, and stuff. If you're not from, if you're not familiar with After Buzz, they do after shows. This yeah. is a whole, a whole show yeah. production. Tony, Tony's the only one who can do it. So um, you know, 100. shake that ass, bitch, and let oh. me see what you got. Just shake that ass. I ain't see that coming. Right. I ain't see that coming. Right. I, 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 I see that coming. I swear I see some I've been doing that move for 20, 20 years. <laughs> Everybody got a go-to. Everybody got a go-to move. Oh my God, Tony in the booth. <laughs> I didn't see that one coming. I didn't see that one coming either. I mm. put something up there, but he got it. So this is a straight ripoff from our True True TV. Shout out I'm to our True Man. That's my guy. Man. I loved the dance break. I loved the dance though. break. Vince McMahon. Oh my goodness! Listen, and this was crazy. I just I, I respect wrestlers. Company, he's a company man, Hall of Famer. Uh, he, that, that just makes things fun and still yeah. is just do. I'm, he was doing the two step, the old man two step. Let me get. I'm here, man, and still finds a way to keep himself in shape. Mm -hmm. He's a bad boy, man. So, um, 
Yeah, we're going to be doing that every week. With you want to send songs. Oh, yeah, by all means. You can even hit us with Curveball. It can be yeah. a slow jam. Do here's, something crazy. Here's, here's what you could do. You could say, Tony in the booth, what's your, what's your Instagram handle or your, your, your social Har- media handle? Harass Tony. Oh, boy. Okay. Harass Tony. <laughs> Blow me up, everybody. Uh, you can find me everywhere at Tony B. Tony underscore T-O-N-Y, the letter B, T-O-N-Y <laughs> he's ready, he's ready. underscore. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yo, harass Tony. You can just yeah. say hello. How's send, your day yeah, going? Just, yeah, send Tony the song <laughs> that you want for the dance break. He'll take care of it. But here's the thing. Tony's a busy, busy man. So you have to send it to him a couple times. Don't, you send it like just send it. don't send it like Wednesday. Yeah, don't send it tonight because he won't remember. <laughs> So you then you send it like you know yeah, weekend. Yeah, make it clear. Just just don't don't send me just like a title. Like, yeah. I need to know like what is it like song for Women's Wrestling Weekly title of the song where to find it. If send me but a that's, link. That's you know, a little bit it, much. Just send him easy. a link and say put dance off. That's <laughs> there you go. Thank you. <laughs> you ask it for a whole a whole bunch. We don't have Tony's time for all that. Tony's very technical man. Yeah, yeah. So they, if you want a song for the dance off to be played because we're gonna be doing this every week because why not? Why not? Uh, that's how we do. So um. America's Chocolate Sweetheart? Yeah. Where can they find you? Um, Evan T. Mac, Instagram and Twitter. Um, holla at your boy. I'll be reading, I'll read everybody's comments, everybody's stuff, so um, I always take time to say what's up. I appreciate you all. Um, truly, uh, especially the, uh, the GM of W. Bosa. Bosa, he the GM, man. The oh, GM. And, and boy, Johan Pena. Yeah. Long, long, long time after Buzz. <laughs> So uh, most of the GM, what's 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 Pena? That's the thing is he might be the mayor of After Buzz TV. Though. The mayor, yeah, because okay. he watches it everything. All right, so he the mayor. Okay, he got he it. supports everybody. He know Tony. He know Johnny Quasno. Like he's met Johnny. I'm like that's the mayor. Mayor okay. and GM. There you go. Boom. I noticed you're you're all packed up, so we yeah. can, <laughs> you're ready to go. And you think Evan T. <laughs> Mac, Mac Mega Shaka Sweetheart should get a shirt on Pro Wrestling Tees, <laughs> which I think you do, and I think I should be getting two percent because I did create the name. That's Anywho. true though. No, for, listen, you know it's crazy though. Like, they got a red carpet, right? They got a red carpet. Jeff got. Red carpet uh, and Julia Rice supposed to be there. Now you know I'm trying to get on that carpet so I can get the official blessing. And if I get it, we got to put the tape on. I need to get the blessing of her giving me the America's. I just need her to be like, it's cool. I know. I mean, but I mean she's not the America's Chocolate Sweetheart. Anyways, before Tony <laughs> starts playing the, the goodbye music, you can find me on everything at TK Trinidad. Yeah. Um, follow us on Twitter, WPW Weekly, IG, same thing. Facebook, we do have a Facebook page. So if we you, do. If you do wander into Facebook, just we have like. a Facebook. Yeah, um, Women's Wrestling Weekly. Other than that, like I said, we are pretty much booked until the end of the year. So we have guests for you every single week. For season two, because that's just how we do. Awesome. But you know, once you guys, you know, corral Jenny Bus, we're gonna make some oh, room yeah, for her. We're gonna do it's, something. It's gonna happen. Somebody get bumped. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's gonna, <laughs> it's, it's gonna happen. Other than that, we're gonna see you guys next week. Ciao. From executive producers Kevin Undergaro, Maria Menunos, Phil Svitek, producer TK Trinidad, and me, Mark Donica, your voice of AfterBuzz TV Wrestling, we ask you to rate and comment on iTunes, subscribe to AfterBuzz Wrestling on YouTube, and find us on all social media. Thank you for watching Women's Pro Wrestling Weekly. See you next week. The views expressed herein are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.